Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are doing a shootout comparison of three very popular bucket kind of dirt guards or, or dirt and grit filtration systems for your bucket if you want to get technical. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel guys. So three grit guard, bucket guards, whatever you want to call them. We're comparing them, we've got three of them here. The original patented grit guard that is the first one to the market that we all kind of all know and has been around for a while. Um, next, the Chemical Guys Cyclone grit guard that has been around for a few years and is slightly a nice different design which we'll talk about later on. And finally, relatively new to the market, the Detail Guards Turbine Dirt Lock. First up, value for money. The original grit guards, guys, you can get two of these for 14 95 so roughly £7.50, making them the cheapest in the test and giving them the most marks in this criteria. Sex, sex. <laughs> Next up is the Chemical Guys Cyclone, which is £9.95 for one. So two of them will cost you 20 quid versus two of them costing you 15 quid effectively. And finally, the Detail Guards Turbine Dirt Lock. These are £14.95, 15 quid each so it's going to cost you 30 quid to get both of them next up test one the ability for grit and dirt in the bucket to fall through these guards or filtration systems without sort of sitting on them and snagging in the surface where you're more likely to kind of pull that dirt and grit back up we're using simulated fine red sand here it's very hard to do this without simulated dirt and film it because the whole bucket you know the finer dirt is going to stay and float around and be more water soluble and the heavy dirt is kind of what's going to fall to the bottom more this is to try and simulate that heavy dirt so test one grit falling through the grit guards so the results of that testing guys are that in first place is the normal grit guard there is not much here there's nothing flat that's going to kind of interfere with the ability to dirt to fall through this filtration system some dirt did fall on, on, the, on each of these little kind of fins or rails. So could they make them sharper or thinner? Mainly, maybe, but then the, the, the thing might get a little bit flimsy or bad. So overall, this most of the dirt fell through this grit guard without sitting on top, and I'll overlay you the shots. In second place was the Detail um, Guards Turbine. Again, a bit like the design of this. It's like, it's kind of like, little triangles the curves here so there's less surface area on the top than if you compare the bottom so they've obviously thought about that um, however in the middle there's some little flat areas for where you're supposed to get your hands um, and fingers in there to remove and quite a lot of grit fell on some of those areas and also quite a lot of grit fell down the sides and where this was kind of pinched into the bucket it sat in, the, in this kind of ledge around there. So there's a bit more grit I could observe not falling through the guard, but overall it did pretty well. In third place with dirt falling through it was the Chemical Guys Cyclone Dirt Trap. So the design of this is quite different and it's quite simple and it's loads of little kind of cones um, going through the grit guard. But however, there is lots of flat surface area on this particular um, filtration system and also they talk about little ridges around each of these holes or cones so that you can actually wipe your mitt over it and clean the mitt out. The problem is that a lot of the dirt falls on the flat areas and because of the little ridges it can't fall in there. Also at the bottom of all of these cones where I assume this has been injection molded or something like that you've got like a little ridge of very thin plastic and that's some sort of problem perhaps with the injection mold process and small amounts of dirt can sit in the bottom of that less of a problem but it keeps all the heavier grit nearer your mitt if you're going to be using and wiping your mitt over this um, filtration system if you're not and you're just sitting in, in the bottom of the bucket it's less of a problem but some people might you want to use these devices as well to kind of raffle the mitt and get free up some of the dirt out of it and um, there's a different debate about when you do that you're going closer to all the dirt at the bottom but ideally you want less dirt to be sitting on top of the grit guard. So that's the order there. The grit guard first, 
the detail guard product second and the chemical guys um, cyclone grit guard last with allowing dirt through it. The next test guys is the ability for these products to stop dirt coming or the grit in my simulation coming back up through through the filtration system and into the area where your wash mitt's going to be. Now obviously they cannot stop it completely, they're not 100% filtration systems or you just see thick black dirt in the bottom eventually and clear water on the top and no matter what you did on the top, the top water would stay clear. They're, they're not that precise obviously, you, you know, you can see that, it's supposed to help a little bit. So you're always going to get some dirt coming back up but it's this heavy kind of dirt that I'm interested in in the particular test. What were the results of this one, guys? Well, in first place this time around was the Chemical Guys Cyclone Grit Guard. There was a definite improvement, and it kind of almost makes sense. With There is such a difference in, these, in this particular design to the other ones, where you've got literally all these tiny holes. So this seemed to me, when I'm pumping the mitt over it, and I'll overlay some of the footage and show it, but I've also been playing around with these for about two hours, that I think this shields the grit that falls through it from being disturbed the best out of all three products. And it kind of makes sense when you, if you ever get one of these and look at it, why it would do that. In next place is the um, Detail Guards Turbine. I think... This again, this is just from my observations. I don't think it's quite as good as the Chemical Guys product with all that dirt that's through it. You can still see it like affect and cause currents when you're moving the kind of mitt over it and stuff like that. And there's more going on underneath this than the Chemical Guys product, in my opinion. But I think there were some slight improvements on the other product. One bonus with this is the fact that, we'll talk about fitment later on, but it doesn't move at all when it is in the bucket. And that plays a part. Um, and I'll move on to the last one now in this test. So the one that performed worse with the sand kind of being moved at the bottom of the bucket was the grit guard. Now you do get a kind of little bit of movement on this and when these fins are kind of sitting in heavy dirt in this simulation, it's not obviously going to be quite that bad. If you've got that much sand in your bucket and you're washing your car, something's gone horribly wrong or you live in the desert. Um, but when this kind of moves, it can actually disturb the sand more and you can just tell from the design that there is more the water is going to flow up and down through this grit guard a lot freer the fins are really there I think to stop the kind of water currents below it but they don't seem to make that much difference and I'm just giving you the results of what I've observed so this was the worst at not disturbing the grit once it's gone through it Next up guys, general fitment with the bucket you're using. Now I've just got a standard kind of detailing wash bucket that I use, I believe is a 12 inch bucket. And I've got a slightly tight, just a little bit smaller ghost bucket here. And I would just base the results on how well these products fit within those two buckets. There are millions of buckets out there. It must be a bit of a dilemma for people designing this. Um, now with my standard detailing bucket, my grit guard goes in there very easily, but it, it, there's about a sort of three mil gap on either side and it moves around a little bit and that movement is not really desirable. It'd be ideal if it just sat in there snugly and didn't move. Um, you do have the two little holes in it you can get your fingers on to pull it out. So it's easy to get out, but it doesn't fit quite as well. In the ghost bucket, it goes in there and it fits quite snug, snugly, but not tight enough again to stop it moving around potentially if you're using the, um, mitt, using the, you know, the, the fins on this to clean out the mitt. In second place was the Chemical Guys product. Uh, it actually seemed to fit a little bit better in my big bucket. There seemed like a slightly less of a gap, but still a, still a tiny gap, so you can get this out very easily. In the ghost bucket, it went in and sits absolutely perfectly with just a little bit, you know, it's touching the bottom, so the feet are on the bottom, but it's also just snug, snugly up against the side, so it fits really well. Um, but the one that fits the best, guys, is the Detail Guard product. This fits really tight in the um, ghost bucket and you have to push it in a little bit and then it's kind of in and it can be a little bit difficult to pull out but you, you get hold of it. Again, they've put little places to get your fingers on so you can pull it out, but a little bit fiddly. But it's most importantly, in my big bucket, it fits snugly and it's got these little kind of rubber feet on it too. I think they've tweaked the design for, for over here where we're using these. And um, they do say as well on the instructions, you can push 
to kind of try and bend these up to make it fit if you've got a bigger bucket. But for me, it fits the best in my big Duca bucket and it doesn't move at all once it's in there. So that picked up the most marks in this particular test. Next up in the test, we're looking at which one is the best for actually cleaning your mitt out because that's one reason people use them as well, that they're better for sort of ruffling up the mitt for releasing some of that dirt than you're just using your hands in the bucket. So you can put them into the bucket and sort of rub them over the surface of these products to release dirt. The danger of that is, of course, these things sit low in the bucket near the dirt. So that's a kind of separate debate. But in, 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 in any way, in third place on how good they are to kind of ruffle up your mitts and release dirt, the chemical guys with a flatter surface is the least effective of those. But yes, the little ridges in there do kind of help to work that. But then, as I've said, more dirt tends to get stuck on top of this. So it's a slightly mitigating factor. In second place, is the standard grit guard which has all those it's flat but it has all those kind of fins on it if you like um, and this works quite well to kind of um, you know you can work your mitt over it and hopefully shed some of the heavier dirt out of your mitt but in first place was the actual detail guards one it has some higher kind of raised fins on it if you like and I can feel when I'm rubbing over it that it's working the mitt kind of a lot harder so taking the whole mitt debate about whether you should should or not wipe them over to free them up. I felt this one was the most effective at that and the winner in that particular category. Finally guys, there were two individual bonus marks up for grabs on whether or not these devices are stackable. Because if you can stack them up, you can actually create, you get further even away from the grit. And I think that's a really important factor with determining how much you kind of um, stir up all that dirt at the bottom. The further away from it you are, the better. So stackability might be desirable. Um, the, the grit guard is stackable. When you do stack it, there's a tendency perhaps for it to roll around even a little bit more, but it does make a difference, I think, having two of them in, the, in one particular bucket. If you want to do that, everyone's going to have a different opinion. Apparently, the Chemical Guys um, Cyclone are also stackable as well, which would be, which some people might want. This device, I do not believe is, is stackable or, or designed to be stackable, so it didn't pick up the one bonus mark there was another set of bonus marks available, guys, if there are any accessories to these. The grit guard has an accessory that you can attach to it where you can wash the mitt even further away from the bo bottom of the bucket that some people love, some people hate. I was indifferent when I first got it and reviewed it, but I, I like this attachment, and I, if it broke, I'd go and buy another one because I've just get, got used to having it. I think it's quite a good little thing, actually, but everything's up for debate, isn't it? So the grit guard picked up another bonus, one mark, for having that little accessory attachment that you could do to it. All of these test criteria I've marked out of 10, apart from the bonus, bonus marks, which are one individual mark, so they're not that important. I'm now going to um, go through the final results and give you a summary of these products. So the final results, guys. In third place, picking up 29 points, is the Chemical Guys Cyclone Dirt Trap. In second place, picking up 32 points, is the Detail Guards Turbine Dirt Lock. I keep having to look at my notes to remember the names. So 29 points, 32 points, and in first place with 34 points is the um, Grit Guards, the original kind of Grit Guards. So guys, a quick final summary of all three products. The first, the one that picked up the most marks in 34 place, the Grit Guard, did so, it did very well on the value for money thing. It does well that you can clean your mitt over it. It lets the dirt through there. As I said, its weakness perhaps is it provides less protection of dirt coming up through the bucket than the other ones. You can mitigate that by stacking them, stacking it, just having two in your rinse bucket where you really kind of clean the mitt out and none in your other bucket if you like. Um, I don't think I factored that in too much in the test because there's all sorts of things. The accessory thing, as I mentioned, that you can clip onto it is nice. So that's what I have in my rinse bucket. Or if I'm just cleaning a car that's moderately clean and most of the dirt's come off in the pre-wash, I just use one bucket with, with these in them. So it's going to be variants on, on how you do it. And I just think the Grit Guard is still a decent product for what it is, if you understand. It's not a miracle product. The one that come in second place, the new kid on the block, the Detail Guards Turbine. There's some nice things in the design with this, and I like the fact they've designed it not to be like the Grit Guard. It's a patented design, which kind of costs money. 
it's quite clever. Um, it perhaps is an improvement on the filtration system of when stuff goes through it. I think there might be some benefits with that getting stirred up a little bit less. And some of that, I think, is less to do with this turbine thing that's harder for me to measure going on, but more to do with the fact the fitment of it in the bucket is great and it's perfectly steel and there's no fins on it that are gonna stir up the dirt underneath it. So there is a little positive there with this. Um, the negative is it's more expensive, it's twice the cost. Um, but if you value your kind of detailing accessories, the only way to know if this is working for you is to try it out. And from what I've seen of it, you know, it's a good attempt, I think, at improving the design. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, of, of, of this. It's a good attempt at designing a grit guard, if, if you like. Now, the one that came in third place with 29 marks was the Chemical Guys grit guard. Again, respect to Chemical Guys for the design. I like the design, it's completely different, and they've tried to improve things. And again, there's some improvements. I think it definitely disturbs the dirt that's underneath it the least out of all three designs, which is great. And that might, might be the most important but it's not as good for cleaning out your mitt and it's not as good as letting... There's a slight flaw in the design, I think, with all these flat surface areas on the face of, of the grit guard, uh, of, of whatever it's called, the cyclone. I keep forgetting the names. I've heard people say that the perfect combination is to have this in the bottom of your bucket and then have one of these sitting on top of it because then you don't have to worry about any dirt that does fall on top of this or worry about it less. And you're even further away from the, that sort of thicker concentration of the heavy grit at the bottom when you clean your mitt out on this, which makes sense. But then you're gonna, the counter argument is you're spending ridiculous amounts of money. Well, not ridiculous, you're spending quite a lot of money, but it's an option, guys, you can do that. So all in all, what do I think about grit guards and, and their value to me? <coughs> They're not miracle products, guys. You can tell that straight away, that if you've got dirty, mur murky water, you know, most of that's dissolved. It's very small, it's light, and it will come back up through the grit guard. Uh, it's more of the heavy stuff that gets pumped down. And I think these products, generally, I would want them in my bucket than not have them. But of course, you can work around it and still clean your car really safely if you don't want to go and buy them. So it's, it's really up to you, but they don't, something doesn't become a mainstay um, by luck in my opinion and I think most people can see the values in these designs and the, the key positive that I want to take away from the video is we've got three different offerings that aren't copies of each other and that's what I always want to see as kind of like someone that does product reviews things that are different to give people choice and I, I've attempted in this video to do it as fairly as I can as always and put the marking criteria in there and give you the reasons for why I've done that but overall you have three good options here, guys. And if you've explored one, perhaps the thing to do is then, is then next time try and explore the other one. And I'll definitely encourage you to do so. As always, guys, with any video, please let me know your thoughts on these products in the comments. Which one have you picked? Have you thought about looking at one? Has this video been any help at all? Is, do you agree with the information on this video? That sort of stuff is always very interesting and good for me as well to kind of read as part of... Um, trying to do this as, as good as I can. So thanks very much for watching this, this comparison video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, because we're gonna be doing more comparisons like this as time goes by. And um, we will see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Where was I?